What's up guys? So today we are at Frankincense. As you guys can't see it because the sun is super bright here. But it's right there. So let's get inside. Alright guys, so unfortunately uh, for you guys, <laughs> the audio was really, really bad. Uh, it was super, super crowded. It was a Saturday that I came in. And so it was ridiculously crowded. Um, I didn't go on this first stall because it was <laughs> packed full of people. So I didn't want to get in there. And people breathing on me like, uh, yeah. Anyways, so um, obviously this is Frankincense. Frankincense. Uh, it's a whole little, it's kind of like a convention if you really think about it because there's a lot of booths, a lot of booths and uh, people sell their own stuff in each booth. Um, the stuff is pretty expensive sometimes, uh, some of the stuff uh, really cheap, some of the stuff uh, regular price and so on and so forth. Um, but this is a little arcade I just wanted to show you guys, this little cool arcade it has a bunch of little retro stuff. Um, most of this stuff is uh, is themed retro because that's really what you find in here is a bunch of retro stuff. And over here, like on, on this side over here, uh, you get to meet some superstars, uh, either actors or wrestlers or um, sports stars or any of that good stuff. Um, uh, you get to meet them here. They usually have a booth. And here's a, the stuff that tells you. I said a stuff like 50,000 times already. Anyways, so the arcade keeps going a little bit because uh, just a bunch of retro stuff, 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 stuff. <laughs> anyway, uh, so there's a lot of pops around here. Uh, you guys always see that the, a bunch of vendors have uh, uh, pops. This one was okay; had a, a, a few, a few things here and there, but. Um, mostly retro things and um, yeah so I slowed the video down a little bit because uh, this is the second time around oh this this uh, vendor right here uh, this is the one that has like pretty good prices it has mostly like latest latest things uh, the most latest uh, toys and stuff like that because uh, and the prices are pretty good um, usually it's like around three five bucks ten bucks um, marked up from like regular price um, which is pretty good uh, I think ten dollars is like the most I've seen uh, like if you were to go to if you were to go to a, a regular store and some of the some of the action figures were like uh, 20 bucks you'll find it here for like 20 25 bucks Thirty dollars at the most is what I saw. So, anyways, they have to make their money somehow, one way or another. They have to make their money. Anyways, if you guys haven't been here, I know some of you probably can't, don't have the privilege to get come here. But it's pretty cool. You find a lot of stuff. Um, there's badges and Mexican wrestlers and Power Rangers and um, more badges. And some chanclas <laughs> um, you find a bunch of uh, comic books uh, pretty cheap comic books at that they were really really cheap uh, like 50 cents or a dollar really really cheap comic books two bucks anyways uh, there's a little Japanese uh, store and all Japanese little character caricatures and whatnot <clears throat> and so uh, this this one right here, I'll come back to it. On the other side of the glass, there was a bunch of uh, other things, predator stuff and spawn stuff here on this one. Um, on the other side, I have a bunch of other things. I'll, I'll show you guys more in detail all that all that other uh, action figures. So uh, yeah, there's a there's like a whole wall, a bunch of a bunch of. Um, but your vendors had stuff like this. You, 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 this is like normal. This is what you guys would find. They had some pretty cool Power Rangers, old school Power Rangers, putties, and they had Lord Zed, and they had uh, Goldar. They had, this is what I like is that you find a bunch of classic toys. 
the stuff like nostalgia you find um, stuff that you grew up with and you missed and makes you want to you know collect it this is what made me collect uh, action figures is that um, I went back to um, the toys that my mom had <laughs> she had sold them on the yard sale all my toys that I had as a kid my mom sold them at the yard sale so I had a um, I started venturing out and I started looking I started looking up all the stuff on eBay all my toys I try to uh, reclaim all my toys that I had as a kid growing up that I still remember that I had uh, have Mars attacks and warriors raccoon the kangaroo stuff who remembers that movie <clears throat> anyway uh, so yeah I just went back and I started buying all the toys that I used to have as a kid and then started collecting from there and I was like I really like sculpting you know I, I like I love art so I just decided to start making my own action figures um, I think I saw my first video I think it was like a polymer clay video <clears throat> so uh, yeah like I said this is the, you it, I don't think you can see every single thing in one day like you literally have to go like a few days <coughs> Excuse me. You have to go a few times and um, and look through every single thing. You'll be surprised the stuff that you find in this place, man. That's like it's incredible. Like it's like any anything that you grew up with. More than likely, you're gonna find it here. If not, um, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> if you don't find it, oh well, you have some bad luck because they have pretty much everything here. The only problem is that um, some of the stuff is, like I said, it's, it's super expensive, like ridiculously expensive. Um, the first time I came here, this is pretty cool. Uh, uh, Apocalypse, I wanted that one. It was, these are all baths, parts of a build of figures, uh, baths. So um, uh, if you want a part, if you're missing a part on your build a figure, you could always come here. But like I said, it's super expensive. So like one of these parts would be like $20. So you might as well just buy it, you know, the action figure itself, and then you could use, you know, the build a figure. But that guy looks really, really cool. I really like that guy. But it was like sixty dollars. But like I said, like I'd rather buy all the action figures and build it myself instead of buying the stuff. But when you first get here, it gets to your head a little bit. You're like, oh my god, here's like, oh I want this, I want that, I want that, and you don't even think about the price. Because I bought a, I bought a, uh, I think it was a Beast Man from uh, from the He Man figures. Um, I bought a Beast Man that was like, like the legs were almost falling apart and stuff like that. And I've never had a Beast Man, and I thought uh, when I saw the Beast Man, I was like, oh, I gotta have that Beast Man. So uh, it was it was fifteen bucks for that cheap little Beast Man, and I was like. Uh, once you have the stuff in your hand, you don't really want to You like you really don't care about the prize They're like once you hold it. There's Beastman right there. Speaking of Beastman. So here's some of the some of the uh, Motu stuff some He-Man stuff. That guy's pretty cool right there uh, Yeah, so they didn't really have that much He-Man stuff this time around. I re that's what I was really You know scavenging for was a bunch of He-Man stuff, but they didn't really have that much this this time around when I went First time I went, there was He-Man stuff all over the place. I guess they got all sold out. But anyways, once you have the stuff in your hand, like once you see it in your hand, you're like, ah, I want to get it. You know, it's here. I have it already. So you're, you're willing to pay that extra price. And I guess they know that. Uh, that's why they do it this way. Because it's like, you know, they could jack up the price and be like, you know, it's it's in your hand already. The, the good thing too is that you guys could negotiate the price. Like you could tell them, um, would you take twenty dollars for this one? Something that costs twenty five bucks, you'd be like, could I can you take twenty bucks? And they'll negotiate with you. Uh, most of the vendors are pretty cool this way, uh, but some of them are really anal about their prices. So, uh, and this thing right here is the first time I ever see this little shredder and splinter um, and the foot soldier pack. Uh, really awesome, man. Really, really cool. I love it. Like I really want to get a shredder and. Uh, soldier uh, these are the hot toys these are 
ridiculous. Like I never really like seen a hot toy. Like I, well, I've seen one, but I never really paid attention to it. You guys see the detail on these things, man? It's ridiculous. Like the, you guys look at the detail on these things. Oh man, it's like it's like an actual person. <laughs> it's like an actual person, like miniaturized, you know. But they had this really cool uh, uh, Mumra statue right here. Really, really nice. And so, Devastator. They had some more Motu stuff here. Which is pretty cool. Like I said, it's, they, they just value it at the regular price. That, you know what it's worth. So they just they just price it at, they price it at that that price at that price whatever it's worth that son goku was pretty cool man i wanted that one but like, the price is ridiculous some more motu stuff um i think that was the only motu stuff i've seen those two vendors <clears throat> so yeah this one was closed but it had like all kinds of retro stuff really really cool old school stuff this is the type of stuff that I was looking for. But unfortunately this guy was closed this day and so I couldn't I couldn't see any of this stuff. Well I could see it, but I wouldn't be able to buy it. Some more uh, action figures here, loose figures. So anyways guys, uh, I think I'm gonna wrap it up because I'm tired of listening to my voice. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are I'm tired of listening to my my horrible voice anyways if you guys want to see a part two make sure you guys drop a like subscribe and if i get around 50 likes then i'll drop the part two video of this so uh for now peace